supraclavicular brachial plexus block. The patient is placed in the supine position with the head slightly rotated away from the side of the block. Anatomy The trunks of the brachial plexus Subclavian artery Omohyoid muscle Subclavian muscle First rib Trapezius muscle Platysma Flora We use a 25 mm linear probe with a high frequency 13 MHz setting. For this block, we use an in plane technique. This is one of the more challenging approaches to the brachial plexus. As you can see clearly on the ultrasound image here, the plexus lies in close proximity to the subclavian artery and the cervical pleura. The needle must be passed carefully from lateral to medial towards these structures, but not into them. The anatomy of the brachial plexus is relatively variable at this level, and there may be many nerve bundles. It is particularly important to move the needle slowly, injecting local anaesthetic to create space in which the needle can further be manipulated around the nerves. Further injections are performed while moving the needle slowly so as to avoid contact with the nerves. Eventually, after multiple injections, the nerves are seen to be fully surrounded by local anaesthetic. Because of the close anatomical proximity of the subclavian artery and the pleura, we strongly recommend that this block is only performed under ultrasonographic control.